Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. As you may know, or you may not know, which is why I'm making this video in the first place, is that um, the Fishing Simulator server, they just dropped a new code that you can use in-game for 500 gems, bro. And I do need 500 gems because I'm so broke right now. I only have 245 gems. But the reason why they are giving us 500 gems is because it's Spinaz's birthday. And if you don't know who Spinaz is, then... Then, uh... Uh... Wow. But anyways, Spinaz is basically the founder of Cloud Entertainment. And if you don't know what Cloud Entertainment is, then... It's the group that made Fishing Simulator. So basically, he started everything. He started the whole reason uh, why we're here in the game of Fishing Simulator. You know, he basically created everything. He started it all. So, because it is Spinaz's birthday, um, as we can see here, the code is Spinez B Day, and if we go ahead and copy and paste this into the game, we're gonna be able to receive 500 gems. So, uh, you have to go over here to the little code thingy, and then you wanna go ahead over here and paste the code, uh, or you can spell it out Spinez Birthday, and then we redeem it 500 gems just like that. I'm a little bit less broke now, I'm up to 745 gems, so uh, I can definitely, uh, uh, I don't know, buy something. Now, okay, I'm gonna talk about what you can buy with 500 gems. Let me think. Let me think real quick. Okay. First of all, let me give out some fireworks to Spinaz, bro. It's Spinaz's birthday. Okay, you can't even see the fire. Here we go. Look at the fireworks. Look at that. That's for Spinaz. Shout out Spinaz. Back to the main topic of like, what can you spend with 500 gems? First things first, do not buy this, bro. Whatever you. Oh, it's cost 1,000 gems, anyways. <laughs> Okay, do that. Yeah. Anyways, even if you have 1,000 gems, bro, never ever buy this chest. If you'll buy this chest, I am incredibly shocked and you must be rich because it's not really worth it. It's more worth it to buy the silver chest. It's only 5,000 coins. Yeah, that's kind of a lot for some people, but it's still not. It doesn't compare to 1,000 gems, bro. The amount of times I've tried buying this or I've bought this chest by accident, it, it, I haven't gotten the best of luck. I literally get like a rare or an epic. It, it's kind of insane. Okay, back to the main topic again. I keep going off topic, but what can you buy with 500 gems? Let's see. Alright guys, you know what? I'm gonna actually change to my L account raw cheeseburger because I don't have much items there here. I can't look at the prices because I own basically everything. So, uh, yeah, let me go on to my L account. So if you guys ever see this account called raw cheeseburger, just just know it's it's kind of secretly me, you know? It's, it's me, it's Luigi. But of course, only if you watch my videos, you'll know that this is me. Other than that, nobody will know. Nobody has a clue. But anyways, let me go look at the prices. Because on this account, I don't really own anything. The only thing that I own that's cool is probably this spear right here. The Trident of the Sea and this Starry Night Rod. Honestly, the best thing you can do is probably just keep saving up. Keep saving up your gems until you have 1,800 gems and you can buy this Quantum Barrel. Now, this backpack was actually the first backpack that I've ever bought with the gems that was like the coolest thing ever to me like when i first started this game i used this backpack for the longest time and this thing looks cool like when you wear it it honestly looks really cool it looks like an energy powered backpack so it looks very nice another thing you can do if you know you're really hardcore about fishing and you know you really want to get those high rarity type fishes you can always go ahead and use your gems to upgrade your boat i think that's a pretty good idea considering that the yacht already helps you out with getting rarity chance imagine just upgrading it by using your gems but i honestly to me personally i don't really i don't know i i just i just try to get lucky and get a cool fish i don't really upgrade the rarity uh much Unless I have the money to, you know, because if I have like 5,000 gems, then I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it and use it to my advantage. But if you only have like 500 gems to spend, I wouldn't really go ahead and spend it all onto the, the rarity bone. Bro, and this is another cool thing that I would honestly suggest you guys to go ahead and try to save up for. Because once you get 500 gems, if you save up to 900 gems, you can buy this boat warp orb that teleports you to your boat. It can be used an infinite amount of times. And bro, this is awesome. This is like perfect. I use it all the time, bro. This is like a perfect object to buy. This is something that everyone must have, in my opinion. If you don't have it, then like, what's wrong with you? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. But it is really cool. Like, it makes you feel like sometimes you have like admin powers because you can just teleport back and stuff well i'll just show you guys how it works if you guys do not know how it works because i know when i first started this game i actually did not know how it worked exactly even though i did read the what it did oh i forgot i bought this guys i bought this uh plushy seal thingy majiggy so uh, let's just go ahead and ride this thing far far away oh my god ah the lag okay here we go oh my god the lag is insane holy moly this little thingy it's so peaceful it just drives so peaceful 
All right, I found someone that's just chilling there, fishing. Okay, so this is perfect example right here. So let's say you're out fishing with your friends, right? And you're like, oh crap, I gotta go sell. So all you do is just leave your boat here, obviously. So you go ahead and reset. You know, you gotta go sell, you gotta do your thing. So then let's say you just finish selling, right? And then, oh my God, you gotta go all the way over there. Like, no way. Instead of spawning your boat, you can just use your little... Um, your little boat warp orb and then just click and hold and boom just like that you're back at your boat and you're back to hanging out with your friends and you don't have to like drive back and stuff and yeah bro 900 gems i think that's a steal it's not it's not even like 1000 gems it's not like 15,000 gems or something uh i think it's perfect so i think this is something that you should really save up for if you get the 500 gems uh if you redeem the 500 gems and uh yeah like bro this is basically has to do with this boat warp orb and you know the reason why this is perfect for me to tell you this is because you know, you're watching a video already about the boat warp orb so I, fi I figured this would be perfect this can only be useful for some people but i'm gonna tell it to you anyway bro let's get into it dang i just realized bro i haven't uploaded in two months bro <laughs> that's crazy all right back to the video okay hey guys so for this to be effective you must be close to a port or basically a spot and a map where you can spawn a new boat let's say i'm just fishing you know on my fishing boat this is the houseboat it's meant for fishing if you do not know but let's just say i'm just fishing casually right someone spawns moby wood and i'm like oh my god this boat is so slow like i don't want to use this boat oh no all you have to do is just you um if you have this boat warp orb which lets you teleport back to your boat all you have to do is just reset then you want to go ahead into the boat shop and you want to go ahead and equip whatever boat you love to use while moby comes out or whatever boat you want to use in general that's not the houseboat so in my case like i said for the sake of the example of this scenario that moby would randomly spawn and i'm like oh no i don't want this fishing boat i'm gonna go ahead and uh choose my uh, let's say i want to use the land boat i go ahead and equip it and then i go ahead and use the boat warp boat to teleport back to my boat which is still here the house boat and then from here you guys probably already know what's coming bro you just literally just drive to the port right here and because you've already selected the new boat once you go ahead and spawn your new boat boom it's this whatever boat you spawn dude so you don't have to like reset and like go back i don't know you it saves you time bro it's just like a little it's a little trick bro that you guys can use um and whenever i do switch boats like this automatically people are like oh my god how did you do that like it's weird i, I didn't have to go to the port jack so that spawn the new boat and then come all the way back here i just teleport and you know boom new boat but anyways guys i just wanted to show you guys this trick just for the sake of me making this video and i just thought it fit perfectly but anyways i hope this video has helped you out and yeah, other than that, guys, I really don't have any other idea of what else is kind of, like, worth it to buy that's anything close to 500 gems. Besides those two things. Other than that, you really just need <laughs> more gems to buy cooler stuff. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I have not uploaded in, in uh, forever. It's been, like, one or two months now. But, but do expect a lot more videos because I have been seeing my subscribers have been growing. Thank you very much for helping me hit 11,000 subscribers. With that being said... Pursue your dreams. My name is Luigi, and if you haven't already checked out the merch or joined the Discord link, feel free to do so. Join the family, and I'll see you guys in the next video.